the Antichrist is called the son of perdition. He's called the son of lawlessness. Probably I'll show that to you. He's called the son of lawlessness. Why? Because the laws he makes are lawless laws. Think about it. A total contradiction. That's why he's called the man of lawlessness. Then he causes deceit to prosper. Think about it. And yet he is the law. So what manner of laws would he make? Now you can understand why he's called the man of lawlessness. If someone takes the mark of the beast, according to the Bible, his name is completely wiped out of God's book. He'll never be saved. Impossible. No matter what happens, he'll never be saved. He'll never be reconsidered. It's not possible to reconsider him. You don't remove the name from the book of life and bring it back. We already in our day were, were witnessing the rise of Satanism. We're witnessing it. And the Bible tells us how that the whole world worships Satan at that time after we're gone. They would worship Satan. Look at that. And they worship the dragon which gave power unto the beast and they worship the beast why are they worshiping satan and, and worshiping the beast because look think about it you walk to you walk to um a restaurant and you see the image of the beast and you come there and you say uh great lord or great master whatever he's going to give them to call him great lord my husband was imprisoned eight years ago is there anything you can do for me my lord to your amazement he speaks back to you this is artificial intelligence he speaks back to you calls you by your name this is at the restaurant his image is everywhere the bible says the false prophet the other beast that's like him will cause his image to have a voice to come alive and people will worship him everywhere all over the world they'll be seeing him the only way that's gonna come out it's through artificial intelligence that's simple he'll call you by name so you come there and this it, it could be at the fire station his, his face is everywhere at the city center on large screens so people come they gather lords whatever they call him bless us today he calls them by their individual names and then he says this will be for you i will do this for you i will do this for you and he will actually get the process on because the whole world is interconnected internet of all things the whole world is interconnected so he makes sure everything that he says to you he has promised you something you're gonna get it if he says you're gonna get money you're gonna get it now they worship him he has he's their god which other god are you going to introduce to them this one is life don't you get it this one is life anything you imagine you you come to him you thought it was just a screen you look at him he smiles at you personally personally listen my brothers and sisters make no mistakes about it you should be aware by now we've passed the level where uh, letters I mean you send out hundreds of thousands of letters and the people on the database have their individual names on the letters no more general letters everyone gets a letter with his own name your bank for example sends out the same message of a letter to all their customers and probably they have 10 million customers each of the 10 million customers has his his own name and his id number on the letter it's personal to them even though it's the same mes message we've gone beyond that now okay through ai you have your device calling your own name he welcomes you what do you want me to do for you today 
You say, please tell me about all the restaurants in the city. He starts mentioning them to you. After that, he says, is there anything else I can do for you? You say, oh, yes. How can I get to XYZ bookshop? Oh, he tells you how to do it. Think that is with your 2G, 3G, 4G. Then when you are now in the extra supersonic 5G, guess what happens? Guess what happens? You, you, you come to him. He's at the hospital. Before you get into the hospital, he's at the, at the gate. You see his image. The image of the beast is everywhere. So you arrive there. He calls you by name. Oh, Franca, I know that you're pregnant with... A son, do you want to? And you go, I know you've not had any child. You've been married for 15 years. You think this is revelation? Yes, my Lord. Yes, my Lord. Okay. Go on. The doctor will tell you what to do. So you go inside. By the time you arrive, the doctor says, Oh, I was just told our Lord spoke to you at the gate. You say, Yes, doctor. All right. Uh, the last time you were here, I told you that you had only one child in your womb. Yes, doctor. Yes. Uh, but now he has graciously granted our Lord. He's not talking about Jesus. This is the Antichrist. Our Lord has graciously granted that you have two children in your womb. And then you have the two children born and you're excited. Uh -huh. Okay. But one of them whose name was never in the book of life. So you're carrying one, a demon, a demon child and one, a natural child. Can you know the difference? No. Only God knows the difference. Only God.